Hey everyone, it's me, Bakisa, and welcome back to our channel here at the Canva Cafe. These are the two flyers that we'll be making today, and I'm just going to show you how I changed one flyer into another flyer. So we started by adding our photos, and I turned one um, opposite from the other just to add a little bit of interest. And you can reduce the transparency of the one in the back if you like. So I'm just searching for golden march inside of the elements because I wanted the word to look a little bit more um, Photoshop, a little bit more realistic as opposed to just regular um, text that we would ordinarily write. And I'm just going to center it or just place it wherever I want. And I'm just going to add a little bit of copy so you can write whatever you want your flyer to um, say. And this is my second time doing this voiceover. I messed up the first one and I had to delete the whole thing. OMG. So now I'm searching for calendars over in Elements and the good thing is Canva actually have calendars that are pre-made with the date um, and the day of the week. So it was just easy for me to pop it right here instead of trying to type out all those numbers so it had the March calendar and now I can also change the color of it because it um, happens to be an element that I'm allowed to change the color. So now I've made a square and it's going to be the background to our calendar and I'm going to make it a little bit transparent so I can see the numbers through it so I can know how big to make it. And then I'm going to add a little extra space at the bottom so that I will have some more space to add a few, uh, few little bit of words or anything extra you want to add. And then when I'm done with that, I will place it behind the um, calendar numbers and pull the transparency back up to 100%. And you can be... Um, as fancy as you want you can change these colors I'm just going with this black and white theme I'm thinking about adding more classic designs to this page so let me know what you think about that I want to do a little bit more timeless designs on this um, YouTube channel where everything is kind of like black white grays neutral um, colors and do all my fun stuff on my Instagram so let me know what you think about that so now I'm just using a square to make into a rectangle to place behind the words so that you can see it. And then I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> and I decided to, you know what, I wanted to use a gold element so that we could stay with the gold theme. And so the calendar looks a little bit more glam. You know, I like glam. Let me know if y'all like glam too. But if not, if you wanted to stay, um, you know, something simple, you could just leave that bar back there how I did it and change it to whatever color you want to match your brand. Like I said, you could change the black, back, black round, the background to any other color to match your brand and everything. And you just make it totally customizable to your brand. Now I'm just adding a little element here to represent our Instagram. And I'm going to add some copy to it. And then I'm going to speed it up because I'm just really going to um, align everything. So I'm just adding um, a placeholder for the Instagram and for the website information. And now I just search for a little shamrock because it is March. So I'm going to play off of the St. Patty's Day theme. And like I said, this is a glam flyer. So I found a gold um, shamrock. You know, you can use a regular green one if you want for a pop of green color. But I just wanted to just do, um, just stick to the black and gold and white theme. And I'm just lining it up with the end of the H just to make it look cute. And then I'm going to search for an element um, to put in the back of our flyer. It's another golden shamrock and I'm going to um, decrease the transparency and place it to the back and thin it out, thin it out, 
and make it more transparent. On camera, it's going to be hard to see, but you know, once you place it on your social media or if you print it out, you'll still see it. And so I wanted to make my calendar look a little bit more realistic. So I added a corner to the corner of the calendar and I'm just going to flip it in place so that it's going the right direction. And I'm just going to shrink it so you can still see the numbers on the calendar. And if you hear some additional noise, it's my neighbors upstairs. They walk so heavily. I don't know why. <laughs> so now I'm also um, going to apply a shadow to the little gold bar that I made just to give it a little bit more dimension. And if you know the right elements to use, Canva can totally look like you use Photoshop. And if you want to know about more keywords that I use, um, just check the description. I have the link to my Canva keyword cookbook and it has a list of a lot of elements that I use, how to find them with the keywords and everything to make your designs look a lot more professional. So I'm just adding this little glow, a little bling to, you know, the gold so that it look a little bit more realistic. And then I do believe coming up next, let me see, hold on, I'm waiting just like y'all. So here I'm just speeding up and I'm just showing you different little elements that you can pop on your calendar to add a little bit more interest and make it fun. So these are just different things. Um, I'm just showing you just for creative purposes. And now I duplicated the flyer and I'm just changing the words on there to make our second flyer. So it's the same flyer, but now we're just changing the words. And so that's a um, easy way to make a lot of content. Just stick to a template. You know, we just made this as our template and we're just changing up the words and the colors or whatever you want to do. So I'm just showing you some examples. And what you can do is just duplicate it and you can make one for every month and change it from March bookings to February to whatever month and then just add the elements that correspond to that particular holiday. And that way it saves yourself a lot of time. And um, I think it'd be really cute, you know, if you print them out also to hand out or, you know, whatever you want to do. So let me know if you found this tutorial um, simple and easy. And did I mention that I'm a Pisces and March is my birthday month? So make sure you drop down in the comments what month you rep and what's your zodiac sign, you know? So I'm going to also show you side by side when I get through the two fold folders, the two flyers. And here I am just showing you some more things. These are little um, gold coins for the, you know, St. Patty's Day theme. And if you wanted to make it a motion flyer, you could have added the coins that are falling in the back of that other video over on the left hand side in the elements. If you wanted to turn your flyer into a motion flyer. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, make sure you follow me over there too at the Canva Cafe also. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit the like button. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.